We are heading to the airport now. We have our flight to Aruba today at like 10 a.m., 9 something, and we are about 49 minutes from the airport, so. I tried to film you guys like a pack with me, but it was just too hectic, so here we are. <laughs> we made it to the airport, the Amex Lounge. We got my friends with me now. We are boarding in like 40 more minutes or something like that. So we're grabbing some breakfast, a drink, hanging out, and yeah. Hopefully the flight's quick, smooth, safe, and we'll see you guys in Aruba. The weather is fantastic. We are going to get married and then we're going to go to the grocery store and then we have a dinner reservation later. guys look at this view from our Airbnb I'm just gonna show you I took a little like TikTok walkthrough and to give you guys a tour I'm just gonna put that here welcome back to another Airbnb tour my friends and I stayed for seven nights in this Airbnb located in Aranjastad Aruba this Airbnb was decorated flawlessly and equipped with everything that we needed for our week-long stay here with two king-size beds and four twin-size bunk beds, this place sleeps a total of eight people. We had three bathrooms total and a washer and dryer in unit, which is always a plus and a great way to save yourself packing space and from having to do extra laundry when you get home. It cost us a total of $406 per person for the entire week. Wi-Fi was included, as well as smart TVs with Netflix, of course. We had a balcony connected to Mark and I's room, which walked directly out onto our private patio with this cute grilling area, and we were so excited about our private hot tub. We did have an infinity pool that was shared with the rest of the condominium, but it was never super busy. We also had access to a gym here, and we were walking distance to downtown, coffee shops, as well as lots of food, casinos, and shopping. Our host was extremely hospitable and super responsive. Overall, I would give this Airbnb a 10 out of 10 and would highly recommend staying here on your vacation to Aruba. This view is unreal. Sorry I didn't vlog yesterday as much as I intended to. We were exhausted. Once we got here, we went to the grocery store. We came back with our dinner reservation and walked to the beach, went to a little beach club. We had a great time right outside our balcony. This beautiful water. I'm obsessed. And I'm going to unpack today. Drew made us egg sandwiches for breakfast and we are about to head to either Baby Beach or Eagle Beach. I can't remember which one we said we wanted to go to, but I'm so excited. Thanks, Dad. Cool. My outfit, I have on these jean shorts. I have a black bikini on right now. Super cute that I got from PacSun, and this like tie shirt that I got from Sheen like four years ago. Um, my key sunglasses, this necklace is I'm obsessed with. I got on Etsy, and I'll link that below as well for you guys. And then I have on these little slide sandals and my Pure Vita anklet. I don't really remember where I got these sandals from. I Blanket down from Amazon. If this thing doesn't move, it's getting five stars. Oh, 
Okay guys, oh my gosh. My sunglass tan line. That's not cool. We're gonna have to try to fix that tomorrow. We went to like the supermarket and got some drinks and some more snack food. We have like stuff to make sandwiches, avocado toast, little pizza, ramen, stuff to like snack on whenever. But we are, we have an early dinner reservation tonight. We're going to this Italian place that I saw recommended on TikTok. I will make sure to bring you guys along. And I'm really looking forward to it. Afterwards, we have a party bus excursion that we were recommended by one of our co-workers at Top Golf, so we shall see. But I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready. We're heading to dinner. Just walked to this cute little uh, Nespresso stand. Grab us a coffee. Weather is beautiful today. We made it to Malmec Beach, I want to say. That's how you pronounce this beach. And it's very beautiful here. We actually lucked out and just found this really cute little cabana thing that you don't even have to rent. Gonna go jump in the water, go snorkeling. Look at this guy. You guys, this water, so beautiful, so freaking clear. There's a lot of like rocks and seaweed here, but we've been swimming for like three hours, been reapplying sunscreen religiously. Kaylin snorkeling, so nice here. We are going back in like an hour to get ready for dinner. this dress that I got from Amazon on right now currently. These heels are from Mark Fisher and they are absolutely stunning. They were on clearance and they only had my size left. I am currently vlogging on my phone because my camera is like packed away in a beach bag and I don't even want to deal with that cluster of a beach bag right now. But um, yeah, we got some sun. We're going to the Flying Fish Bomb which was recommended to us by one of our managers. 
and I'm about to curl my hair. Our dinner reservation is at 7.30. I'm gonna deal with my hair, eyeliner and mascara on, and go from there. <laughs> That is the rules and then the other things just in the work. We made it to the ruins. Kate's fit check. She's like, I'm definitely getting a tan while we do this. checking out the gold ruins and the ocean here is absolutely beautiful definitely not swimmable we knew that coming here but we are about to try to go check out like a little swimming hole and cave and we did go ahead and get our wristbands for the national park hike tomorrow highly recommend getting those a day before you actually do the hike and getting there at six o'clock in the morning to do it We 
made it to the caves we were looking for. Wait, I wish I would have brought my Apple Watch now. 6 a.m. Oh, About to hit up the awesome. National Park. All right, we made it later than expected, but we're here. About to try to conquer this hike. It's pretty long, so pray for us. hiked and swam in the Conchi natural pool in Aruba and it was amazing highly recommend getting here early literally starting your hike at 6 a.m. because when we were about to leave there were probably 200 people from the tours and the buses being loaded in and we would not have been able to enjoy it or see highly recommend that and if you are able to hike and your group is able to hike, make the hike. Bring plenty of water though, because it's brutal out here. Need to not get charged at. Good morning, you guys. It is 7.30 a.m. and we are on our very last day. It's always like super emotional on your very last day of a vacation, right? Like you're, <clears throat> you've made all these great memories, you know you have to go home, make money for your next vacation, and pay bills and go back to reality. But I'm just sitting out here looking at the water. I just woke up getting ready to go get breakfast. Guys, I literally fell asleep in my makeup last night, which is so unlike me, but I was so freaking exhausted. Once I lied down, I fell asleep and didn't even get up. Um, but thankfully it's just eye makeup. I need to go wash it off now, but we're about to head and grab breakfast, go to the lighthouse and go check out a beach. We've made breakfast here every single morning except today so we ran out of all of our breakfast stuff which is why we're going to get breakfast it's been really great our stay here for the week this place was phenomenal beautiful place we did rent a car definitely worth it in my opinion the hike yesterday was great except when we were hiking back there was a solo traveler 
and she was a nurse and she asked if she could go with us because she felt better checking in a group back because it was a warmer part of the day and we started going the way we came and she's like no 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 this way's faster this is the way I came so we're like okay whatever we go with her so much more rough terrain but it's fine she was super super friendly super nice she felt so bad she offered to buy us all ice cream but we did know that there was another way to get there and we just didn't go that way so it's fine it's fine so if you do that hike i recommend staying on the 4x4 pathway once you make it up the hiking trail part it's just flatter less rocks if not bring your hiking boots bring some good hiking shoes but besides that it was a great time mary did hurt her ankle scratch it it was um swollen and then she stepped on a cactus so that was very very unfortunate and a jeep ended up stopping and helping and picking us up because she was like in a lot of pain and it was slowing her down a lot and besides that you guys I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I'm sorry I haven't done much vlogging. We, I've just been trying to get videos of everything we've been doing, trying to stop and talk as I can. I will say, everything we ate here was phenomenal, except for dinner last night. The place was beautiful. The menu was great, but what maybe what I got wasn't good. What my boyfriend got, he didn't like it. A few of us got things we didn't like. Mary didn't like hers, but the others liked theirs. But the service, I felt so bad. The guy was in training, you could tell. And none of his fellow coworkers were helping him. And he was struggling and we were super patient with him. Super, he was super friendly, super nice guy. But it was just really sad to see. And again, the drinks were good. The vibes were great. But the food was really kind of average. It was honestly below average. Because everything else we've had here has been great. Packing, carrying all of our stuff to the van. Head back from the beach one last time, and we are gonna go to the lighthouse, check that out before we go back, get ready, and go grab dinner somewhere. guys that sums up this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed watching we are about to head to the airport now check out of our airbnb we just finished packing and all and yeah we really had a great time i would highly recommend coming and checking out aruba on your next vacation destination and i will definitely link this airbnb down below in case you guys have a party of eight or a family large enough because we stayed here for right around $400 per person for the entire week, which is really not bad. And I know Airbnb prices lately have been like skyrocketing and very unstable. So this was definitely a great find, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye guys.